Hey guys, welcome back. So uh, if you're interested in learning how a copyright strike works, uh, right here I have some guy who copied my video. So I'm gonna go through and show you guys how to issue a copyright strike on someone who copies your video and how it works. Okay guys, so I'll show you right here. I am logged into my dashboard on my channel. I'm gonna scroll down on the left side right here and there's an option called copyright. So I'm gonna click on that. And what's cool about this is it scans um, all YouTube channels to see if any content matches um, the videos that I have. So right here it says this HyperX video that I have, someone um, used 90% of the video right here, 90% of it. And then it shows the channel right here. Uh, his channel name is called Peterson. He has like 38 subscribers. And then other stuff like that, uh, how many views the video got. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this right here and it's gonna say request removal. So I'm not gonna click on that. And then this page pops up and it just asks for my information. But if I scroll down here, there's this removal option, right? And it says right here, I can select a send a seven day notice, which means, so what this means is once the request is validated, YouTube gives the uploader seven days to remove the video and avoid a copyright strike. If they don't, the video is removed after seven days. So this is a more generous option, but the standard one over here says these removals can lead to a copyright strike. YouTube process the video removal after validating the request. So here's the thing, guys, this guy copied 90% of my video. Um, all he did was put a little intro at the beginning with some uh, photos of the headset. And then he used the whole video throughout the whole thing. And I, I noticed like he went through it and he spliced out my intro, but he used the whole video. So I'm pretty cool with people just using like little tidbits of it. If they want to show like the headset as a reference, if they don't have the headset or just talk a little bit about it, but he used the whole thing. So I'm going to give him a copyright strike. I'm going to do this right here. Um, I have a good faith belief that I use of material in this manner. Blah, 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 boom, boom, boom. So I just got to check all that, put in my signature and then name of copyright owner your majesty j on the street relationship to copyright content this is my content bitch country united states of the coronavirus so what's cool about this is it shows his video how he titled it he titled it HyperX cloud 2 gaming headset review 2019 and then this is my original one so it shows me what video he copyrighted right down here so let's go to his video here this is his channel here. Let's go and take a look at his channel here. What a douchebag. You know, like, I bet he, this is what he does for his whole channel. Like, he just copyrights everyone's video and he just puts, like, a little intro thing at the beginning. Like, he shows images of it at the beginning here. You know, and th this video is, like, I think from other people, too. It's not from him. So he does this little intro right here. Skip ahead. Then he jumps directly into my video and he does the whole thing all the way through. Even shows my gameplay and all this throughout the video. You know, it's like, Hi. so I don't know, this guy is weird. It's just a spam account that he does here. So yeah, here are some other options that you check on that. You can archive it if you don't wanna like, um, if, if you're cool about people using some of the content, you just archive it. Um, I can contact the channel directly if I just wanna discuss to them about it and say, hey, you should pay me $2,000 for using this. So yeah, I think this is how it works for the other channels. If you watch that MXR play guys, he got the um, copyright strike on his channel and this place was trying to distort him for money. And so this is how, I think this is how it works. I think that the copyright channel has all of their videos on it and then it shows them who used their um, portions of their video clip in it. And I think this is how they did it. They just kind of went through all, this whole list of people using their little video clips in it. And I think they contacted the channel and did like a seven day um, copyright strike on it and told them, hey, you got to pay us money, like $6,000 or we're going to keep the copyright strike on there. So, yeah, I hope this gives you guys some insight on how copyright strikes work on YouTube. They just have this very cool thing that scans videos on similar videos matching videos and content you know any other new video that comes out that matches my content it's going to list it here and i can contact them or copyright strike them so okay so that's going to be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it takes me a lot of time to create some of these videos but like i said uh i wouldn't mind if he only you know copied a little bit of it just as a reference 
but he copied the whole thing. You guys like Captain Crunch? I love it. It's so crunchy. What, you guys are still here? You can watch me if you want. Bye.